Did you know it is possible to inspect element in the mobile version of Chrome as well? First, create a bookmark with this code in the URL section. Now go to any website and search for this bookmark in the address bar. A small icon will appear at the bottom of the screen, tap on it and now you can access the Chrome Dev Tools. Do note that you cannot directly edit the content in the Elements tab. So you can type in this command in the console window and execute it, after which you will be able to edit the web page, sort of like a Word document. This method may not work for all websites, so you can check out this Chromium based web browser called the Kiwi browser, which has an inbuilt option for developer tools. Speaking of Kiwi browser, it also has support for Chrome extensions. So you can visit the Chrome web store and install your favorite extensions to use them on your smartphone. Suppose you need to highlight a particular section of a web page while sharing its URL. Well, you can select that portion and then hit the share option where you need to select the include link to highlight option. Now when someone opens up this URL, the web page will be automatically scrolled down to the highlighted section. Although this may not work for all web pages or with other web browsers. In the share menu, there's also an option to take a long screenshot. You can scroll and select the area that you want to include and then download the screenshot. You can add a lock to your incognito tabs. To do so, just go to settings, then privacy and security and enable the lock incognito tabs option. Now you'll need to use your fingerprint or lock screen password to unlock the incognito mode. By default, you are not allowed to take screenshots in incognito mode. But in case you need to bypass this restriction, you can enable this chrome flag after which you'll be allowed to do so. Chrome flags consist of experimental features, so be cautious while you're here. Also, do note that doing this will make the app preview visible in the recent apps menu. Go to settings, then privacy and security and scroll down to the option that says always use secure connections and enable it. This will ensure that HTTPS is used whenever possible and that you are warned before visiting websites that do not support it. You can swipe on the address bar at the top to switch between tabs. You can tap and swipe on the options menu to select the required option instead of having to tap twice. You can swipe down on the address bar to view the open tabs. You can organize your tabs by grouping them together. You can add a shortcut of any website to your home screen so you can access it directly. Thanks for watching.